I'll just talk and you can just cut it out. <laughs> It's Christina Tozzi from Milk Bar. We are in the newly opened Milk Bar flagship at Logan Circle in our brand new classroom. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to make our infamous cake truffles. I'm gonna make my favorite cake truffle for the summer, which is our strawberry lemon cake truffle. All of our cake truffles at Milk Bar follow the same exact formula. You need cake. You need some sort of binder. That's something that's liquid, it's gonna add flavor to your cake truffle. So for the strawberry lemon cake, we have lemon juice, really simple. Melted white chocolate or melted white chocolate chips if you have them at home, with a little bit of odor-free, color-free oil. So canola oil, vegetable oil, something to help thin the white chocolate out so that it's nice and fluid like this. Then the final ingredient that you need to make in cake truffles is a crumb or a sand. And that's an outer coating for your cake truffle. For the strawberry lemon cake truffle, we have a strawberry milk sand. All right, so we're gonna start with this cake. And we pop it out of the pan. Use your freshly washed hands, or we like to just grab a pair of latex or non-latex gloves because it helps make the process of cake truffles just a little bit more easy. We start to just crumple it up in our hands. So we start to break it down into pieces that are even smaller than what would be a normal small piece, into nice, even little pieces. And I like to add a little bit at a time to get a sense of how much this lemon juice is going to act as a binder. When all is said and done, you can almost knead your mixture of cake and your flavor moisture element into one big ball. That's when you know you've got the right amount. From there, it's time to make these cake truffles into those little bites of heaven. If I don't have one of these cookie scoops at home, I just use a tablespoon. So we need to make sure that it's a nice round surface. So you're just gonna roll that ball in between the palm of your hands so they're meant to be imperfect spheres. Next step is our melted white chocolate. And I like to lift my white chocolate up like this because it allows me to go, okay, have I melted? Is my white chocolate melted all the way through and is it nice and thin and fluid? And if it is, then it's time to start enrobing. This station at our cake truffle party is called White Chocolate Hands because you literally take white chocolate <laughs> and you put it in between the palms of your hands and you take the cake truffle and you just do a little roll. Again, you're looking for a very, very, very thin roll of that cake truffle and then it goes into the bowl of your sandy mixture of choice. So either throw your gloves off quickly or have a partner over here to start tossing your cake truffles through the sand. But you're never actually really touching the cake truffles. You're just pushing the sand along to cover every single edge and crevice of that beautiful round cake truffle. And then, when those cake truffles get to a nice point, you pull them out of your sandy mixture and then you put them on a platter to set so that when your cake truffle is done, your crumbs are totally set in place. You can feel that really nice thin shell against your cake truffle and they're either ready to eat, to go in the fridge to eat later on in the day, or my favorite over the summer is to stick these suckers in the freezer and pull them out one at a time when the summer sun has just become too much and you just need a light refreshing snack.